that's the arpeggio we're gonna play today. An arpeggio basically is when you get the notes of one chord and instead of playing them all together, like strumming for example, you play one by one. Okay, that's what, uh, that's what an arpeggio is. Now, this one specifically is an arpeggio that I've, I've borrowed from a guy called Giuliani who was a guitar teacher from many, many years ago and he came up with a crazy amount of arpeggios for us to learn. For now, we're gonna focus on this. Now, the key of getting a good sound and good technique when playing arpeggios is that you have to be very aware that each finger has its place, uh, especially on the right hand or on the left hand if you're left-handed. But that's really, really important. So let's come up with simple rules so you can remember for you to play any arpeggios easily. And the rule is the following. The thumb will be playing the sixth, fifth, and sometimes even fourth string, okay? That's the home of the thumb. And the other fingers, we have the ring finger, the middle finger, and the index finger, will be playing um, the first, second, and third string, okay? So the ring finger on the first, the middle finger on the second, and the index finger on the third. That's the rule for now, but remember, that's important to come up with a method you can apply for each single chord you have to arpeggiate. That's our rule for now. Okay, so now we have this information, we have the clear rules, um, we just need to proceed to play the first chord, which is a C chord. So, that's the first part of the arpeggio. Thumb on the fifth string, index finger plays the third string, middle finger plays the second string, and the ring finger plays the top or the bottom string, the E. Okay, that's the first part of the arpeggio. Second part of the arpeggio is the exact same thing inverted. So. finger, middle finger, and index finger. That's the first part. Got it? Yes? Excellent. Now we're gonna change chords, so we're gonna go to this G7 with the bass on the B. Long name. And the right hand is doing the exact same thing. And that's the whole point of playing arpeggios, is that usually the patterns repeat and the left hand really repeats as well uh, whatever they're doing between chords. So it's the exact same thing. Thumb on the fifth string, um, index finger on the third string, the middle finger on the second string, and of course the ring finger on the first string and then it, it's inverted so it's like up and down okay so let's play the whole thing last example is actually adding some more information that we're gonna look up very soon in another lesson okay but for now please practice this uh, don't give up and always uh, have a good time so see you uh, very soon please subscribe uh, for more lessons and thanks for watching let's go